Yo, our best look yet at the Yeezy Boost V2, more Jordan 31s, and some down under love for Kyrie. I am Jacques Slade, and this is Today in Sneaks. I really wanted the Adidas DX Flux to be a big deal, but after that initial hype around the shoe, it looks like things basically slowed down. Despite the change, Adidas Originals is still giving us good looks at the sneaker like this mashup that mixes some of the old school with some of the new. The upper of this shoe uses the colors of the classic Adidas EQT, which has been getting a lot of love lately. For those not in the know, the EQT is an Adidas shoe from the 90s that was basically a technical runner, but it's been getting a lot of love lately. You can look for these to arrive at select Adidas retailers like Mate. The Kyrie 2 is a good shoe. I would go as far as saying that it's a great shoe. The price is right, the performance is there, and it looks nice. All things that matter when it comes to shoes that you want to wear. For the latest look from Nike Basketball, the Kyrie 2 gets some love from down under in what is being called the Australian colorway. Now the upper is decked out in mostly tour yellow with enough black to really even things out over the strap and over that midsole as well. From what I can tell, there are no specific callouts to Australia outside of the yellow color, which is actually on their flag. Per the usual, these are $120 and you can look for them to arrive this weekend. The Nike LeBron 10 Soldier, or Soldier 10, I'm not sure, either way. Uh, it's getting a lot of love in the offseason, and one of the dopest colorways that I have seen so far may not even be available in the U.S., at least not yet. Spotted this weekend, the model goes full camo, and it looks dope. Black is the base color on the upper with various shades of green, including medium olive and bamboo, and they put those together to make the camo pattern. Uh, with the Soldier name, this upper is pretty much perfect in my opinion. You can look for these to arrive in the Philippines this weekend and possibly a U.S. release later this month. The Air Jordan 31 band just dropped this weekend and Jordan Brand is wrapping up to drop a few more colorways in the near future. Spotted this weekend, Jordan reveals the Air Jordan 31 fine print. The model is inspired by the contract that Jordan first signed when he linked with Nike and features the same colors of the contract, which are basically black, white, and a little bit of gray. As for the details, they have the date uh, that the red and black Nikes were banned when Jordan wore them on the courts on the reverse of the tongue, and they also have Jordan's signature on the bottom of the shoe. Pricing is $185 and you can expect to see them arrive on $917. The Air Jordan 1 band was, I, I would say it was the biggest release of the summer, but there is another sneaker that may take that title later this month, the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2. If I know the internet, these will probably end up with the nickname Solar Reds, though the main part of the upper is actually gray. And these photos, the stripes on the upper definitely look more like zebra patterns than in the past photos that I've seen. And to be honest, it's kind of starting to grow on me. I wasn't exactly excited for this pair at first, but uh, the more I see them, the more they're starting to grow on me. You can look for the hype to start on September 24th. All right, for the last video, the question of the video was, uh, with the increase in popularity of smart devices, such as smartwatches, TVs, and appliances, how long will it be before shoes become smart, and in what ways will they be smart? This is what Hoopers had to say. I reckon in two to five years, we could get shoes that measure the distance you ran and how many steps you have gone. So kind of like a Fitbit, but in your shoes. I think in five to 10 years, we'll also get self-tying laces and color-changing shoes. Color-changing shoes will be pretty dope. After today's question of the video, it comes from Alistair Manson. And the question is, with brands like Nike and Adidas being so dominant in the sneaker game, do you feel as though any new brands can ever make it as big as those two? Great question. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. That's what I'm rocking today. It is this shoe. I, well, technically, I'm not wearing these right now. I'm actually wearing a pair of Jordan 31s because I'm about to play basketball. But this is what I had on earlier, which is the Nike Lunar Epic Flying it. So yeah, that's what I had on earlier. Right now I have on 31s. Anyway, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe, and then follow me over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. It's all under the name Gusto. As always, guys, I appreciate you. I'm Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks, and I'll see you soon. Peace.